All right, hey guys, this is uh, Love to Freak here. We got another HTC Evo 4G ROM. This is Sinister version 7, which is Sense 2.1 minus Sense 2.2 plus Sense 3.0, I think is what they said. Uh, it's running the Gingerbread OTA. Um, I guess they just kind of, you know, chopped in some good things, chopped out some bad things, you know, made this. ROM a little bit more lightweight, a little bit, uh, you know, better to work with without losing any of the good functionality that you get with Sense. And it looks like we got a uh, droid here, boot screen. Uh, not too bad. Alright, so we got it starting to come up here. Uh, notice that it's got the honeycomb battery icon, which is, is pretty nice. I like that. Uh, I just like battery icons that have a percent. I mean, whoever thought that having just a bar would be very informational? You know, it's like, hey, I'm at half a battery until you're at 10%, so you can never tell when you're almost at a battery. So uh, here we go. We got this. Uh, Weather lock screen looks pretty cool. I do like it. So, uh, let's see here what we can do. Uh, we got, oh, we got this, uh, customized, I like that. Look at that little circle thing. It's green. That's pretty badass. I like it. And, uh, we got the normal sense here. Nothing, uh, too fancy. Looks like just the default one that came with the Evo. But let's uh, let's go here. Let's pull down the status bar. Take a look. We got the quick settings. I don't see the application thing, but I'm thinking it has it. So we got uh, not bad, not bad. I, I do like this volume media bar only because, like you know, when you're trying to freaking turn the media volume down, you, it makes that sound, and you're like, oh, I want to play a game at work, so I want to turn it down quietly. And this is pretty handy because you can turn it up and down without making any sound. Uh, we've got a Sprint Hotspot thing there. That's pretty cool. Uh, so let's go ahead. Let's go down. Whoops. If I can pull the status bar. Go ahead here. Let's see. Go ahead and open uh, Lin Pack up real quick here. Let's uh, get that going. Uh, we'll do a single thread and then a multi thread just to see what happens. So we got 34, not bad, not bad, there we go, multi-thread, 31, okay, not, not bad, let's see here, go ahead and go back, we go, I also got, uh, let's see here, did I get another one to test it, yeah, quadrant. Alright, so we'll uh, go ahead and run a quadrant full benchmark on it. Kind of get an idea of uh, how performance wise this ROM is. And uh, I'll list the Limpack score as well as the quadrant store in the bottom. So, yeah, I've got 30 frames a second on that one. That's about 16, 15, 20. Not too bad. And, uh, it's like 35 average. No, like 32, 30, I don't know. That's about like 10 average. Alright, so let's go ahead and view the results here. Alright, so we got my device. It's actually showing less than the regular Evo. Um, so I guess that 
this ROM is uh, a more performance server. But you also got to realize, I'm sure that the that the Evo right there, the Evo 2.2 Plus, I bet you that is like a Cyanogen or something like that, or an overclock. That's what I bet overclock. Cause this is just standard, no overclock, no nothing. So that's not too bad. A thousand, I mean, that's pretty decent. Um, you got all the standard normal apps plus super user. You got the cool task manager for, um, you know, if you wanted to see the stuffs running, you can be like, kill it, taha, and then it'll tell you your memory usage, which is kind of handy, I guess, you know, not bad. Uh, let's see here, let's take a quick look at the uh, camera thing here, which, uh, is the 3.0 sense, it's got the little, uh, fix, you can like, take panorama and HDR, I don't know what that is, you can do distortion, vintage, you can add a bunch of stuff to the pictures you take, so that's kind of cool. So yeah, this is pretty much, you know, very basic, looks very similar to regular since they came with it, you got the regular dialer screen, uh, let's take a look at the messaging here, uh, let's just... Write a message. Oh, I gotta put in a number. Uh, it does do the side texting thing, so that's kind of cool if you like um, having a conversation back and forth like that. Uh, let's see here. Uh. I don't see Sprint Navigation or any of the Sprint apps installed, so I'm, they must have took those out. It does have the DSP manager, so you can, you know, amp up the volume. But other than that, you know, everything looks the same. Minus the add-on bonuses if you like them. And uh, one other thing I noticed was uh, you got the cool little uh, Cyanogen turn-off screen. And you got, uh, when you press and hold on a button... It like does like the lightning like that. Like that it looks pretty cool. You can pull up the phone. And when you turn it off, you get a little bit more options. You got power off hibernate. Hibernate, like I'm not sure what that is because I haven't actually messed with it. But I did do this earlier. You power it off and you're like, okay. Because right before I did this, I turned it off and I was like, okay, so I'm gonna wait for it to turn off. I'm gonna start from the beginning basically, so you can see the boot screen and yada yada. So it's turned off. Now you remember the first time when it turned on, and like how long it took for it to turn on. So did I press the button? I didn't press the button. My bad. There we go. Maybe. Okay. Wow. What's going on? Ah. There we go. So you know HTC screen came up, but it made a little vibrating sound like it's turning on. Boom, up. That was like five seconds. Because it like it's on I guess fast boot. I didn't even check the settings for that. Let's go check. Let's go take a quick look. The settings here. Keep this under about ten minutes so you guys don't have to sit here and watch a bunch of nonsense stuff. So software version three point three three two point oh sinister. Uh, let's go over here. Let's see it's based off of Milk G since 2.1 plus 3.0 minus 2.2 with the standard kernel. And let's see what's it going to check out. We got the power management. That's kind of cool. And looks like Fastboot's turned on. But you can't really tell that that's checked. But uh, I promise you that's checked. And, and that's what made it turn on and off so quick. Is it, kind of, it didn't ever actually turn off. It's kind of like a Blackberry if you ever had one of those. They power off, but they really don't power off. So, this is the Sinister ROM version 7. Download link down in the description, as well as uh, more information, probably on XDA. If you guys have any questions, go ahead and leave them down in the comment section. And always, this is Love to Freak, and happy ROMing.